Virtual week number two for this uh, winter season. So I hope you're joining in from home. Leave a little comment below. I'd love seeing your emails and having your phone calls. So thank you so much for participating. And I am so psyched for this workout uh, because, first of all, it's a really great workout. It's going to be challenging, so get ready. But also because we're in this beautiful new space today. It's almost done in the upstairs new massage room area. So super exciting to be able to see the floor. Um, pretty much completed. Needs a good solid wash at some point. The walls are up and painting. So making lots of progress. I noticed where the camera is right now. I've made a very specific space where it looks really good. We still have lots of messes to clean up, but we're definitely making progress. So uh, we'll keep posting to Facebook and Instagram about that. Today, the only thing that you need for the workout might be a set of dumbbells and a mat. Um, again, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use cans of soup, cup, bottles of wine, whatever you have around. Um, anything at all that will work for weights. We'll go overhead with it a little bit, so nothing crazy heavy. And if at any point you need to go without anything, or you want to use a broomstick, something that's really lightweight, excuse me, lightweight, that's totally fine. So we're going to go ahead and start it just with a little bit of a warm up. Let's go ahead and start with some knee hugs and just a little rotation of that ankle. A couple times both directions. We're also, let's go ahead and switch, we're also going to be hitting our cardio today. So you will need somewhere that you can walk, jog, bike, um, what else? Walk, jog, bike, those are all options. Let's switch to the other side again. All of those would be good options if you have an indoor option, great. If it's nice outside, go hit the, the outdoor safely um, and do that. But we will need a route that's about two minutes back to that other leg. We'll need a route that's about two minutes long. Um, so if you want to walk out one minute and then head back towards your house, that'll give you a good route to go and use all day. Let's put those feet super far apart. We're going to hit that A-frame stretch, arms straight out to the side, hips go back, reach the opposite hand towards the opposite foot. Leave the legs mostly straight. If you don't quite hit that foot, that's okay. We're just reaching for it. Trying to stretch on the hamstrings, backs of the legs. Keeping those arms out, stretching that arm back behind you, just stretching the shoulders too. Opening up. Couple more. Beautiful, beautiful. Right where we are, we're going to leave those arms out to the side. Give me a couple forward arm circles. It's getting a little bit bigger and bigger. And the biggest you can get. And we'll go backwards. Backwards as big as you can. Getting smaller. Smaller and smaller. Beautiful. Let's bring that foot back behind us. If you feel comfortable, you're welcome to grab onto a bench, a chair, a wall, whatever you have around. Just hitting the quadriceps here. Go ahead, same foot, heel down, toes up. Let's lean into it. As much or as little as you'd like. Some people like to reach out and physically pull those toes up. You can just pull your toes up on your own. And if the little wiggles or windshield wipers feel good, go ahead. Go ahead, opposite from this, we're going to put the toe back behind us, still that same foot, heel wiggles back and forth. We've done this before. Good deal, still that same foot, let's hit a few leg swings, straight forward, straight out in front of you. Just pick those toes up, fairly straight leg. Might have a little break in the knee, but we don't want to bend. Keep it straight. Good, straight out to the side, lifting up, keeping the upper body upright. The more that you lean to get it up, the less that you're going to feel the crunch on the side. So we want to feel that crunch. Good. And a couple of glute squeezes, toe behind us. Lift that heel up. You want to leave the leg straight on this. Just lift and lift. I always say we're squeezing in our cheek. That's where you want to feel it. Warming up the glutes. Good deal. Same scheme on that other side. Let's grab that other foot back behind us for that quadricep stretch. I didn't mention this on the first side, I should have, but if you can't quite reach that toe, don't worry, just put the toe down and push towards the ground. It should, you should feel that flex in the quadriceps, we're getting a similar stretch. Good. Heel down, toes up, that's one leg, our second leg, and if the wiggles feel good, proceed. Opposite of this movement, let's put the toe behind us and just wiggle the heel, left to right, forward, back, whatever feels good, just getting that ankle loose. Waking up all of our muscles, big and small. Good deal. Let's hit a few of those leg swings straight out in front of us. Again, not a crunch. My upper body staying just as it is. Just swinging the leg. Go 
Good, and out to the side when you're ready. Same thing, don't lean too much. Try to stay upright. Lift and lift. Crunch and crunch. Good, and glute squeezes. Let's hit those cheeks. Toe behind you. Straighten that back leg and lift up. Good. Two more. Beautiful. Let's get a little bit uh, moving just a little bit. Let's hit some butt kicks. Nice wide stance. Give me a few seconds here. Good. We're going to bring our left arm across our body and stop butt kicking, but we are going to turn the palm up and down, up and down. I said that backwards. Down and up. <laughs> Good. Other arm hugging across your chest. Down and up. Down. See, I got it figured out. I know my ups and downs. Good. Let's hit some high knees. Bring those knees up nice and high. This one you might feel a little bit of a crunch, and that's okay. Get those knees up. Good deal, good deal. Give me a few seconds of jumping jacks. Arms reaching up overhead. You can step or you can hop. Just keep those feet moving. Let's get that heart rate going. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice wide stance. We're doing side to side lunges or squats rather. Cosic squats. Reaching to the left, reaching to the right. One leg stays straight, one knee bends. Push the hips back. Good. Stand all the way up in the middle. Keep going. You want to feel this on the insides of your legs. Good deal, good deal. Hopefully you feel pretty warmed up. Grab a swig of water, get those weights nearby, and figure out where you're going to walk, run, jog, whatever you'd like to do today. We'll be right back with the first set of the workout. All right, you all seem to be ready for our first section today. As I said, you need some work to spend two minutes doing cardio. Worst case scenario, you are welcome to walk or jog in place. Doesn't have to be like butt kicks or anything crazy like that. We do have jumping jacks already in the workout. So I'd say just a good jog in place, hop in those feet, and move. Jog around your living room or anywhere you've got a little bit of space. If it's nice outside. I super encourage you to try to get outside and enjoy that while you can. Those beautiful days have become rare up here in Highlands. It's pretty cold out. So I'm just going to jog on this new floor a little bit around here for my two minutes. We're going to do like we did last week where you can just pause the video. That way if you want to add a little bit more time to the workout or shorten it if you need to shorten it. Um, you can just press pause whenever you go for your walk. Press play whenever you come back and we'll hit the weight section. So for this first section, uh, we're going to take our two minute walk, jog, bike, whatever you have around um, that you can use or go outside. Then the first movement, you're welcome to use weights or not. This one's kind of difficult. If you use the weights, I'd put them up on your shoulders. We're going to hit, this is exhausting, a lunge, a lunge on the other side, set the feet up for a squat. It's a lunge, lunge, squat. Any of this that does not feel good for your knees, don't do it with too much load, don't add weight, and don't go down low. So we're going to reach that foot back, we're going to stand all the way up, reach the other foot back, stand all the way up, push the hips back, and stand all the way up. So you can go as low to the ground or not. Whatever the depth is for your lunge, lunge, and squat. Okay, so find what works for that. Lunge, lunge, squat. We'll, uh, we'll get a 15 second rest, and we're going to hit jumping jacks. If you want an extra challenge on that, hold one of the dumbbells, press overhead. I'm probably not going to do that. This is a really tough workout, but you choose your you choose your challenge today. And then the last one, we'll need the weights again. Something light if you have something light, or do this one without weight is fine. It's that high pull. So we're going to bring the shoulders up into the ears. Elbows come up high. Think shrug. Like I don't know what you're doing. Shrug your shoulders up. Elbows up nice and high. Towards your chin. Obviously, you don't whack yourself in the chin. So we're going to hit those lunge, lunge squats, jumping jacks, and then high pulls. So a little bit of rest in between each one of them. We're just doing one set of this, okay? So pause the video, go hit your two minutes of cardio, 
Press play when you get back and you're ready for the weight movements. All right, all right, welcome back. You've pressed play, you're ready for the next segment. Lunge on the squat starts in five.
feel the heart rate elevate at that point. You're doing great. We have less than 20 seconds left. Reaching the hips back and forth. Good. Shoulders roll back. Don't let them sink forward. Roll forward. Keep them back. Nice straight back. Almost there. Five. We'll rest in three, two, and one. But take a little rest and we'll jump rope. Starting in 10 seconds. I'm being like ultra safe with the weights today, like placing them down. Brand new floor up here. Three, two, and one. Jumping rope. Again, you can do one foot. You can step if that feels better. We're just trying to have nice, quick feet. Again, if you want to work on your agility, do some crisscrossing. Proceed. It's not necessary. We're just trying to keep that heart rate up. Imagining that we're jumping the group. Twenty seconds left. You're doing great. Five set curls will be next. We'll grab those weights in the next rest. Almost there. Almost there. Five. Reaching those hips as far back as you can. 
Good, trying to get that foot on the kicks. Get it up high, really reach that foot up. You're doing great. Almost there, now 15 seconds. And again, if that squat doesn't go, booty all the way to the ground, reach the hips back, stand up tall. You're gonna work the same muscles, you're good. Five more seconds, come on. Three, two, and one. 15 second rest, then we ice skate. Ice skaters, make sure you have space. Check that your weights aren't too close. We start in that rest for long. Five, three, two, and one. Turning the hips, stepping or hopping. The faster you go, obviously, the more exhausting this movement is going to be. Doesn't have to be fast. Just keep moving. Nice and steady. Turn those hips. Go, go, go. Come on. Keep at it. Let's go. Let's go. Less than 20 seconds left. Almost there, guys. Last move is that overhead press. Again, we get a little rest. And we'll press overhead. Three, two, and rest. Whew. Sweating up here. Ten seconds. We'll go overhead with the weights. Or without, or with the broomstick. Whatever you have handy. Three, two, and one. From your shoulders straight up overhead, all the way down. Good. Try to really exaggerate that range of motion. Reach all the way up. Punch towards the sky. All the way back down your shoulders. You're doing great. Come on. Almost there now. 15 seconds. Come on, come on. Big breath coming up after this. We hustle through this first section. Five. Keep pressing. Three, two, and rest. Good job, good job. I'd recommend pausing at this point. Um, you'll need a mat next. So we'll grab our mats, get those ready, grab some water, and I'll meet you down on the mat. So we'll take a little pause. All right, welcome back. We're going to break up our main section our first part with a little midline section and then we have a nice long finisher that I think is going to be super fun. So we're going to start this same scheme. It'll be about 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. First one's going to be sit-ups or sit-up negatives. Feel free if you're doing the full sit-up all the way back, you can make your legs straight and roll up. You can bring the bottoms of your feet together. You can bend the knees. Whatever feels best for you. The goal would be to go all the way back, reach up overhead, and sit all the way up. Shoulders come in front of the hips. So you've got to reach forward just a little bit. Um, if you want to practice those negatives, work on, the, work on those. It's a great idea. Roll back until you feel like you're going to fall, and then sit yourself up nice and strong. Good. On those, don't worry too much about leaning forward. We just want to work on that quick sit up um, and thinking strong thoughts throughout that. The next move is going to be a plank hold or plank taps. With this, we've done this before, you can be on forearms, you can be on fists, you can be on your hands, wherever that plank feels comfortable. If you want to drop your knees, drop your knees. And if you'd like, you can have a bench or a chair in front of you. Make sure it's sturdy or maybe up against a wall. And you can put some of your, if you set up that way, like on a wall, like this, that's going to take off, I hope it's right, that's going to take off some of that body weight. So that may feel better as well. Again, fists, forearm, hands, whatever feels good. If a plank hold for 45 seconds doesn't feel hard enough, who are you? Um, you can always do shoulder taps as well if you want to add a little challenge. If at any point during that 45 you need to drop down and take a little rest, just take a quick rest, jump back in whenever you're ready, okay? The last one's going to be glute bridges. I'm going to do half on one leg, half on the other. The goal is that one foot will raise up. We're going to pick up the hips towards the sky. You can either pulse up and down. You could bicycle forwards or backwards. Or you can just lift and then go back down. Lift and then go back down. So whichever you want to do, but we're focusing on one side at a time for about 25 seconds. And only the other side for about 20, 25 seconds. So again, that leg can just stay out. You're going up and down, up and down. Or you can always hold it and pulse, pulse, pulse. Or that bicycle. 
bicycle in with that one leg. Any one of those ways, it's going to start to burn. 20 seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but it's not very easy. So we're going to spend four, we're doing this for two rounds. So the first set of sit-ups are about to start in three, get ready, two, and one. If you want to go all the way through, we're reaching overhead and then trying to push those shoulders out in front of the hips. Keep going, you're doing great. Almost there, almost there. Remember on those negatives, you don't want to quite fall back, but you want to feel like you're about to, and then sit yourself up nice and tall. Whether you're doing negatives, or full sit-ups, or you have your feet, this holds your feet together. No matter what, you have five more seconds. Last few. Three, two, and rest. If you need to get up and go towards a wall, if you have a chair nearby, you want to take off some of that body weight, feel free. We're going to go into the plank. You're either holding or you can shoulder tap. 45 seconds is a long time to hold. Two and one. If at some point during the 45 seconds you need a little rest, like I said, feel free. You're doing great. I wish I could tell you that we're almost done. We're not quite there yet. <laughs> Keep holding as strong as you can. Come on. You got this. You're doing so great. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on. I know y'all are crushing at home. I need a rest, but I don't want to drop because I know some of you guys have it. You're doing so great. Five. Now we're almost there. Almost there. Three, two. And rest, good. We'll lay down for those blue bridges. We're starting with one leg up, one leg on the ground, one foot on the ground. We'll start at five, three, two, and one. Try to leave that neck relaxed. Again, you can pulse. You can just go all the way down and all the way up. Just trying to lift those hips up as high as you can. If you want to try that bicycling, you're holding the hips up. Squeezing the booty the whole time. We're almost there now. Five, three, two, and one. We'll transition to the other leg, and then we'll hit it in two and one. Let's go up, up and down, or pulse. Or if you want to try that bicycle line, just squeeze the booty. Keep the hips up high the whole time. You're doing great. We're almost there. Five. Three, two, and rest. Good. We're going to hit another round of those three movements. Sit-ups are next. We have ten seconds. <sighs> it's just three minutes here. Three more minutes. Five, three, two, sit-ups. All the way back, all the way up. Or hit those negatives. Whatever feels better for you. Again, you can choose your challenge today. It's the beauty. Every day you get to choose your challenge. No matter what you do, part of it's going to be challenging. You get to pick. 15 more seconds. It's another 45 second round. It's a full 45 still. So you're doing great. Last few. Come on. Five, three, two, and rest. Good. We're going to hit that plank. If the plank was too easy last time, again, who are you? And hit the shoulder taps if you want to. Five, three, two, and one. Good solid plank holds. Again, I'm turning on my hands. You're welcome to be on fists if your wrist bothering you, or on forearms if you prefer. Just make sure that your hips are in line right in between your shoulders and your heels. Good straight line there. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good inhales. Hold oh, exhales. Keep moving. Well, not moving. Keep powering through it. 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. We'll hit those blue bridges 
two. And going back up. Come on. Either pulsing or bicycling. Whatever version of these glute bridges that you'd like. You'd like. Keep going. Keep going. Eight. Squat, kick, kick in three, two, and one. Squat, 
Good. To the bottom of your squat, then kick, kick. Make sure those feet are reset in the squat stance. 20 seconds. You're doing super great. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, almost there. Overhead press will be next. It's our last movement in five, three, two, and one. Up overhead. You're doing great. Again, as always, as fast or slow as you want. If you need a little rest, take a little rest. But try to move for most of this time. Past halfway, power through to the end. Come on. Just hang. My hands touch the ground. 